Oh boy. So, I'm re-reviewing this album because what I like to do is if there's an album that I don't necessarily like, I'll listen again and try to see, is there anything good in here? Alright, so, for the artist, we're gonna start off with this. Anthony Ramos, for those of you who don't know, Anthony Ramos, whatever, got his start kind of from being on Hamilton. And if you go to his page on Spotify, all five of his most streamed tracks, most popular tracks, what shows up on the artist page are from Hamilton. And that's a good reason, there's a good reason for that. So, I went into this album knowing it wouldn't necessarily be my favorite thing ever. I knew it wasn't 100% my style, but I went in thinking, okay, this is going to be decent, at least. And the first track, Dear Diary, it, it helps raise your expectations. This is not a track that I didn't like. I'm going to rephrase that. I like this. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but it's tolerable. Like, if it came on the radio or came on shuffle, I wouldn't necessarily skip it. The next song, though, is just Ani's Basement, Annie's Basement, whatever. It's just forcing itself to try and be this dance song, this song that... I have something in my throat. Hold on. All right, this song that just... It's trying to force itself to be on the radio. And it tries to bump it up with these dancing beats, these more pop beats. It's just not it, okay? This album, overall, this song's just not too good. One More Hour, once again, lifts up your expectations a little bit. At this point, when you're listening through it, you're thinking, okay, maybe just the start was a little bit off. But... It's going to get on a good track, right? Isabella, again, kind of a song that gets a little repetitive near the end, but nonetheless, it is still a catchy song. Then you get to the second third of this album. It all goes downhill, okay? Songs at first, you're thinking... Those are decent. This is something I'm still giving a chance. This is something that I'm still going to listen to. Once you reach Mind Over Matter, though, it all goes downhill. And most of the time, I'll listen to an album, no matter if I'm loving it or hating it, I'll think, okay, so this is, you know, it's a good size for an album. I listened to Glory Sound Prep the first time, not being a John Bellion fan at all. And at the end, it left me wanting more. It was a good length of an album. The Black Parade, one of my favorite song or albums of all time, is, once again, just another good record, with length especially. But, you get to, rock albums tend to be longer, pop albums tend to be shorter, rap albums tend to be somewhere in the middle, they're either super long or super short. Um, this just feels like it goes on for an eternity though. You get the songs like Mind Over Matter, and relationship, uh, 237 and 257 respectively, um, but they feel like they go on for decades. Like, here's, people say March, oh, that was super long, all these disasters, all these bad things happening in March, felt like a decade. If you think that felt like a decade, you have not listened to this new album, or it, it's not new at all, but just the album in general. You, the song Woman is just, so out of place in this and then you get back towards the end you start to go up again and you're thinking you know i don't it's gonna take a lot to save this but they start to dig themselves out of this hole and the songs figure it out in either way they're better they're a lot better but i don't know they're not too good then you hear the good and the bad, the title track, is painfully average. And that's, it's a decent score for songs out of this uh, album. But, especially when you get like title tracks of an album, those are usually, that's the song. That's the one that you're 
yeah, this is the best one on here. This has this and blows out of this world compared to everything else. This is just so underwhelming. But then you get to come back home, a four minute and five second long song, longest song on the album. It is the closer. It is the 12th track, but it feels like it's been going on for about 50 songs by now. So, that being said, if it's your type of thing, if this is your kind of vibe, go for it. Um, I'm not a fan of this at all, though. Straight up. And... Yeah. Out of ten... I think I gave it like a 6.5 or something initially. This album is a 3 out of 10. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more positive reviews, I've done basically every other album that I've reviewed has been positive. This is just not it. This ain't it, Chief. Anyway, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next video.